It's time, gamers. Do some tweets quickly. Doing well, gamers. I look like shit today. We're just gonna accept that. So, my speakers must be broken because they are only kicking noise out of the left speaker, which is weird. I was wondering if it was a PC problem because when I had my headphones plugged in, uh, but when I plug my headphones in, it's playing out of both ears, so it has to be a speaker problem. I guess this is what you get when you buy like 15 pound speakers instead of investing in something like slightly good. Like finding out my, my work, like the PC at my work that the manager to use literally has the same speakers is probably a sign that I don't have the world's best speakers. Well, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm just waiting for Civ 6 to load up. And I'll load up the game and hopefully... Ow. Oh, boy, that's loud. Then hopefully in the sort of two and a half minutes I've got left until... Until the game is... Until the stream starts. If the game doesn't break. Single player. I agree to the policy. We have 555 turns into this game. <laughs> have they announced Civ 7 yet? I'm gonna check this. I have to wait for it to load. Because I do not have any real idea. Seven. Okay, so they confirmed development of Civ 7 in February. Under a different person. I can't wait for them to make Civ a like fucking live service game. I wonder if they would ever do like a remaster of the old Civ games. I've only played Civ 5, this, and then some other old Sid Meier's games. Like I've played um, Colonization and um, Sid Meier's Pirates, but that's like it. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Hello, I told you I like shit today.
We're back. We're Elizabeth. Um, for some reason, we're doing a religion victory. We're nearly there. We just need to convert two more sieves, and then we'll have it. It's like Greece and Rome are the last two that we need, and then we'll have won this, which is exciting. Um, stream rise. Let's just do a little update now. Um, next week, the whole of next week, there'll be no streams because I am down south visiting my parents. Um, so probably uh, today, maybe tomorrow, but definitely Saturday and Sunday I'll, I'll be streaming. So at least two more streams, not including this one, before I leave. Um, not sure what they'll be yet. I'm not sure if we might finish Citizen Sleeper. Uh, I have um, a very kind um, hog, uh, a very kind hog on Tom Walker's server um, was giving out some Steam keys I didn't need uh, from a Humble Bundle. So I do now own the whole of Life is Strange 2. 13 turn 14 turns on the Venetian Arsenal. So yeah, we're Jewish England. We have converted an awful lot of the world. We'll try and sell Iceland before the end of the game. Let's just go on to religion lens. So yeah, like, literally all of this is Jewish. There's sort of no real line so we're probably going to be sending stuff. We want to try and finish converting Krakow or the Poles just because once we fully convert them, then they they can't like bring back Shinto. I think. And we'll have killed off another religion because we've already killed off uh, Catholicism. Um... And then we'll start advancing into Greece, who I think are Eastern Orthodox. Although Eastern Orthodoxy seems to have mostly died off already. Um, but yeah. I'm wondering if we should... So, we get the Venetian article in 14 turns. Oh. Apostle, uh, we want you to go to Krakow. And this one's going to convert Vilnius, I guess. And that's also helping me get dedication bonuses. We're already going to be in a golden age for the um, one after Renaissance. Oh yeah, I forgot that I've just set this boat up to XP grind here. My pop, I've got another apostle who we could promote to. They're all kind of terrible promotions. I might not promote this one yet. I might just leave it for a bit. Um, okay, this one is gonna go straight to Festus. Because there's another city there that we can't see. This one's just going to keep converting Krakow. Sorry, Krakow. Oh, we have so much gold. Thank you, Pericles. Uh, we do need to be a bit careful with the iron sides. It's a shame my entire navy is... Oh, I forgot we were building the Sharakotra army. Why is the quote... Why is the quote a Jacques Chirac quote? Oh, now all my boats get promotions. Do they? Who knows? The Genève... Per... Um, don't really need to build another wonder at the moment. Uh, let's just build medieval 
Wait, I could probably just... Wait, we can get another trader. Let's just build another trader then. Okay, probably one more apostle. We can buy it. We could buy a missionary, but I'm just doing apostles for some reason. So that's this guy. We couldn't build Kotoku in time, which I guess I was building somewhere. Oh, I should probably promote these guys. They're not gaining XP anymore. Uh, we can buy a Guru, so one more turn and we can buy a... That's all of their movement. Oh, so this free city is about to rebel. That might just go to us. Um, okay, you can build another district. But you also have a stagnant population. So I guess I'll buy... I'll get this one which already has a holy site, an industrial zone. Uh, there. There will probably do. And next turn I'll probably buy a builder for that one to... We're still winning this one. Yeah. How is Diplo victory looking, actually? Ponder on seven, we're on five. But religious... Religious, we are winning by a long way. Oh, nice, we can start doing archaeology. Oh, so we are ages ahead on civics. Um, where's the next sort of religion one? Or are we past most of the religion ones? I guess religion is kind of like an... What are these, li the future era ones? I don't think I've played one of the a campaign into the future era before. But I guess civic engineering. Actually, the Enlightenment is probably better. Uh, Valencia can just build ancient walls. Um, oh, we've now just converted Krakow. Has that... Okay, so... The Poles can't convert Shinto, can't do Shinto anymore. Um, I don't want to piss off uh, Pericles particularly. So I guess I'll just strengthen Amar. Oh, apostles are so expensive, actually. Let's just get some missionaries. Missionaries are probably way more economically sensible at this point in time. Next time we can get another missionary. Buy a granary for there. Get a builder for there. Ten turns on the Venetian arsenal. Oh, I can promote literally all of my units. But I have to wake him up. I guess we'll do this now.
We're not planning on going to war in the near future. It'll happen eventually. Probably against Spain again, but... Anyone I haven't leveled up yet. Oh, these boats, but they're not in friendly territory. Yeah, I guess the monument is good. They're doing literally one health every time it gets healed off. Uh, special session of the World Congress. This is going to be the convert... Convert, um... Krakow back, isn't it? Idavan would be nice to put some extras in. We don't have to beat Pericles. We just need to get the bonuses for it. Now we have to put every single unit back to sleep. Oh, I, I can probably get an archaeologist, can't I? Okay, we need farms more urgently than we need anything else. Okay, so good Alexandria, please. And you are going to go to Ephorus. Um... Where do I have a I have an archaeological museum somewhere I seem to remember that I just can't remember where Okay, archaeologists are so expensive, jeez Oh yeah, and I also just don't have coal. I don't think. Oh, the the entire world saying we must eradicate the Jewish faith. That's that's so out of character. This is helpful to us though because it does actually Just pressure a bunch of... Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gaul. It was just Philip and Jagviga. Philip, whose entire civilization is now converted to my religion. Yeah, I'll get this guy. Never done him needs food. I was going to try and find coal... Okay, so there's coal there underneath the monastery. And there's coal there, which is, is kind of in our reach. Oh, and there's coal here underneath the campus districts, which I'm not digging up. If Kalditz flips, then I think it's going to flip Poland. By the looks of it, but you never know. They might kill this apostle. We'll see. This boat, the second we go to war, is going to get destroyed. Yep, our apostle got killed by the Corsair. Um, another city needs food. I'm going to send you to rip down this monastery quickly. We'll move them. We'll build a new monastery for them. Um, okay. More missionaries.
I might turn off. I'm not, I don't. I don't know. I I like the animations, but they do go on forever and just make the game go last longer. Okay, cut it to Poland again. Um, could I send a trade route to the Greeks? We can get one as far as Pella by the looks of it, which would also send my religion down there. Okay. You're gonna go to Alexandria. You're also on your way to Alexandria. Uh, you are gonna head over to Corinth. Six turns to the Venetian Arsenal, the thing we've been trying to do this whole time. Yeah, turning off the animations for these guys might be an idea. Who but England could create the Sea Dog? It's the Sea Dog. Damn, if we got that like five turns later. Monastery destroyed. <laughs> okay. I'll build the zoo because I can buy the factory there first. And we can also buy another missionary. We are now just going to missionary spam until they're not worth it anymore. Like, they go up in price every time, so we'll reach the point where apostles are worth it again, but not yet. <laughs> I think we won this one. I think it is just a, a inevitability now that we win. Like we're having some humanity problems, but that's about it. Like up here, our religions are. Wait, just. But yeah, we just need to majority convert the Greeks and the Romans, and I reckon we should do that fairly quickly. It will piss them off. But that's necessary, unfortunately. Cole. It rules that this just rebel city does have a wonder that we've just let them have. Ah, uh, what would be useful here? Um, they need more food over here, so I guess we'll go work this wheat. Um, we don't have boosts for any of these. We're about to get the enlightenment though, so I guess we'll get this. And maybe we'll try and get Oxford Uni. Oh, I should rename some cities, shouldn't I? We need to anglify our empire. It's been a while. Yay, thank you. Uh, we'll send this one to somewhere in Rome, probably. Because it sort of starts sending our faith over. Can buy another missionary. It's going to sort of send a bunch to Rome. Is Rome being attacked?
Now the holy site would probably be useful, but what I want Geneva to do is build me a military engineer real quick. Okay, Corinth should be the next to fall. Yeah, so we can buy a missionary like every three turns at the moment. Spanish conquistadors. Ooh. They're like armed settlers, right? So they're probably going on a little... Who is Rome fighting? Oh, Spain and Poland, I forgot. Should I step in? Should I offer to help? My troops aren't really near... Can I act like, can I, like join war? Is that an option in this game? Oh, they just don't want me to join their wall. Places need... Just sending 500, like, missionaries to Alexandria. Wait, which missionary am I controlling now? This one. Okay, we've now made Alexandria pagan again? We could technically try and free Macedonia. <laughs> Remember when Macedonia were in the game? Yes! The Venetian Arsenal! Right next to our entertainment districts. Right, London. You can finally build stuff again. <laughs> build your factory, London. City converted. I guess go to Corinth. Well, thank you, Trajan. I hope the sack of Rome isn't too too rough for you. I wonder who's going to take it. Will it be Spain? <laughs> I wonder what the people of Avaricum think of the fact that new barbarian outpost oh it's up there but I wonder what they think of the fact that they're just permanently shooting at this boat that doesn't seem to care um I guess Prislav that doesn't convert for a while longer so I guess we go to Pella now and start doing the same thing down there. Oh, damn it, I could have spread that turn with. Rome has earned. Cervantes. Rome has just converted. Oh, because they got captured, and I guess enough. We could do a liberation war for Rome. Um, okay, let's send them to Antium. Just to, to give them that.
Uh, one more turn, then we can get another missionary. And can I now buy in Birmingham the factory? Yes, I can. Uh, I can't think of fun names for them. I could just, like, name them, like, British town names. But I don't know, like, this is revolting? Why are they revolting? They don't have a, okay, they don't have a governor, to be fair. Um, London probably doesn't, no, actually, I want to keep you in London. Uh, Valencia. I want to send them over to, um... This one. Oh. I could probably storm a recent if I wanted at this point, but Um, hmm, hmm, I might put triangular trade on actually. Gives us some extra Corinth converted. Can buy another missionary, which we will do. Um, we haven't built an art museum yet, so. And we will quickly buy yet another missionary. This is fine. This is good. I reckon we're going to win quite soon, actually. Like, Rome is kind of just converting itself. Um, I guess let's send him down to Pella. That one's off to Prislav. Yeah, because we just need to convert a majority of... We technically just need to convert a majority of every div. We don't even need to convert the whole div. Hmm. Should I build a spy? I guess I should build a spy and do some espionage. Corinth converted. Ephesus will just convert on its own. I guess Trace Love next. So yeah, we are having some problems with like population stagnation. But other than that. Okay, the Spanish couldn't hold Rome, that's interesting. It just has no religion now. <laughs> There's just not enough people in Rome to have a religion, I suppose. 
But, like, the city of Rome doesn't particularly matter to us, because as long as we can convert the majority of the Roman Empire, we win. Do you need to hold? Okay. I'm going to build some forts down, down here on the Spanish border. You can buy another missionary. Um, Geneva does kind of need the entertainment district, so let's just do that. Caldiz has rebelled again and will rejoin Poland in about nine turns. Well, Congress. Um, I don't really care about that one. I would really love if Furs could grant me extra. Wine. Grants no amenities, that sucks. Oh, this is an anti-Rome thing by the looks of it. Okay, so we've got a great engineer now. Um... Okay, I guess go to Athens, please. Uh, we will get there with Prislav. Spain's, like, whole army are probably in Rome at the moment. We could easily just, like, try and take Spain. <laughs> I'm just wondering if Prislav is actually particularly useful compared to actual Greek cities. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one was meant to be on its way to Sparta, wasn't it? Uh, zoo would be nice. I think next turn is another is another buying a missionary turn. Yeah, Rome we should just get naturally, but we can speed it up. But I'll get Greece first. I love watching this animation every turn, twice. It's XP though. Great writer. Woo, we haven't had a great writer yet. And we can buy another missionary. Yeah, go to Ostia, please. Just go for a war zone. <laughs> Do I have another... Oh, Plymouth has an amphitheater. Cool. We're going to build a fort there and then another one just around the corner. 
Like, well, thanks for the follow, the not so holy one. Uh, we're currently in the Renaissance. Uh, this is a marathon length one, so we've been going for a while. But, um, but yeah, it's going pretty well. We're basically, I think, we're like guaranteed a uh, religion victory at this point. Because <laughs> it's just a matter of time till everyone converts to us. Like, I can't see us losing this at this point. But the Romans are seeking a science victory. I think I'm ahead of the Romans on science. I'm so ahead of the Romans on science. I think us and Greece are the only ones that have a chance of winning anything. They all just hate me. <laughs> okay. I don't really care about the... I'll vote against that one once, but I'm gonna... Sort of... I don't want to go to war. Okay, I guess there is one chance of... of... Okay, cool. Yeah, no one has the votes to get me. I think we're doing good. Um, hmm. Go build forts on the Polish border, please. I don't trust the Poles. Um, go down to Pelia. Convert stupid city. <laughs> this is the thing, it's just kind of like a slow process now. Right, go to Plymouth. Where's Plymouth again? Oh, Plymouth's up in Scotland. That's why I forgot about Plymouth. Oh, um, I could probably send a little ship to go and find Iceland. I forgot that we need to do that. <sighs> but yeah, it's just going well. Go away, world tracker. Ooh. They want me to give them the casket of the even evangelist in favour of... No, but I like... As much as the 20 gold of time would be great, I like... I'm doing a religion victory. I can't give away my religion stuff. <laughs> How do I get rid of the world tracker? There we go. Oh, no. I could put a list of every single unit I have on there. Oh, no. Oh, we're nearly done with the Renaissance. And we must nearly be done with converting Pelia as well. Okay, and by the looks of it, we've got to the point where missionaries are getting more expensive again. Um, let's build a a workshop. But yeah, no. I think we need, like, three cities in, in Rome. Or two more cities in Rome. We just need to say to you, I reckon we can get, like, Antium and Ostia super easy. And then we need... Greece have one, two... I think we need, like... Mm, stupid three cities. Um, we're nearly there. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess I'll bring my units down. Why can't I not upgrade this crossbowman? Have I not learned the ability we need to upgrade crossbowman yet? Yeah, just to guard this, I'm gonna move some units over. Um, blah, 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 blah. even more walls. And then in Birmingham, we will buy a new trader to replace the one we lost. We found a tribal village. Oh, it's the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands have just been there. I guess it's 1368, so it's not like horrifically late to discover the Faroe Islands. It's a bit late, but like, not horrific. Oh, I could steal that worker from them. 
get Mendeleev. Put them on alert. Put them on alert as well. Um, okay. We can't really go past Cardiots because of the way it goes. Mm. Could Antium work as a trade route? No, it couldn't, and it wouldn't be able to reach that anyway. Uh, gold. Okay, Almara's just the best trade route. Okay. Steam power and chemistry. And Margaret can finally write her second book. I do love hearing the song Scarborough Fair 500 times. Oh, so Rome is going to flip back to Rome. And Cardiz is going to flip back to Poland. But you just built a horseman? I guess. Like, no, that's, that's an ancient era you can hit. Apostle. Ooh, I got distracted and we can build an apostle now. Okay, so Iceland has a barbarian camp. I might swap this and get my sea dog to be battered by Avarasium for a bit. I mean, they're nearly fully leveled up anyway. Okay, our Apostle can... These aren't useful ones. I guess I'll get you convert barbarians, but it's not like a great one. Just turn up, cannon some Icelanders. Um... Guess Armar gets me the most of everything. Okay, Rome has rejoined Rome. Simple. Okay. Palace do it. One more falls. We haven't like, converted the majority of them yet, but we're getting there. I think mean, literally once we do Athens, that'll be enough. Ooh, Michelangelo. Do we even have an art museum where he can do that? Oh, I didn't mean to convert Pelier again. I'm so stupid. Uh, go Athens, please. Why do I have an art museum that he could do? Do I need to build an art museum? Oh, there's one over there. Yeah, the sea dog gets like one level of experience from this. And then it stops being worthwhile. So. I guess after that I can just row it back and get it to get bombarded by every reason. And I think the Enlightenment is a, or the Renaissance is about to end. Okay, you're not going to Pelia, you're going to Athens. Oh, we can buy another missionary, let's do that. Oh, railroads. Hmm. We're going to get the second fort soon, actually. Upgrading our field cannons would be nice. So let's get that first.
Oh, Roma's gonna get a city back. No, Roma's flipped back to, to, damn it. Damn it all. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, it was, um, well, so I have a degree in Scandinavian studies, which is entirely useless to agree, but it means I can wheel out fun facts about, like, the Vikings and stuff. And yeah, you're, you're completely right. It, it was, as far as we can tell, it was, um, Irish, like, monks who were there first as, like, um essentially like secluding themselves to uh like better study or whatever so so like yeah it does completely make sense that we would just go conquer it i mean the fact that we have just left wales and ireland alone is is uncharacteristic <laughs> for england i do have to say but yeah um I mean, the, it's not 100% sure whether that was Ireland or whether it was just, um, if, if it was just the Faroe Islands, like, because the, spe the, uh, the specific sources that refer to that, I think, just refer to, um, oh, there's, it's, a, it's a Latin word I can't remember for, like, that basically just means, like, the most northerly extent of the known world. But, um, but like, um, yeah, it, it could be the Faroe Islands. It could very well be the Faroe Islands or Iceland. Oh, but all. Her Swedish is so clear. Like, I don't know, I find the, some of the languages, because I speak a stupid number of languages, not well, mind you, just like enough to get by. But, like, I do find that the Swedish here is particularly understandable <laughs> compared to some languages in these games. And can these guys even... Oh, yeah, we need one more level of them, so... That ups and then three strength. Michelangelo is going to make the Sistine Chapel. And we're going to buy another missionary. And we're going to build that second fort now. Which gets us the ballistics bonus. I might just, like, line the border with forts. Just to be safe. Just build, like, a defensive line. Or maybe I should do it up on Avaricium. This is kind of vibes based now. This isn't even strategic, particularly. Industrial era. And we're into a golden age. Okay, so now nah, they're actually good. All the city states have new quests. Oh, everyone is in dark ages or normal ages. I'm the only one that's in the golden age. And. Ooh. No, traders can't be plundered. That's so good. That's so good, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to build forts along the border. Um, Do we have any great work slots that wouldn't fit Michelangelo's stuff? No, I don't think we do. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to build an art museum somewhere, so I guess go to sleep, Michelangelo, for a bit, please. Uh, yeah, go Sparta. Um, 
probably buy an art museum somewhere. Yeah, we can get an art museum in London. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Then I'll send my Michelangelo over to London. To our culture district, which is... Is it actually on the mainland? Where's the culture... Where is the culture district on? Oh, it's there. Oh, we can get another governor. Uh... Ooh. I just need to convert all of the all of the his ones are really good actually for what we're doing. So Yep, you can have my coal Pericles. Ooh, is climate change gonna start happening? Where's the climate mode? Is it in the era progress section? No. Okay, so CO2 hasn't started yet. Um, okay, I want to send this spy to... Probably Athens to... You go to Athens. Uh, Novodonium. Okay, we can buy another guru, but that's not particularly what we need. Oh, we can start. Athens must be getting there now. Pal, I don't unconvert. Okay, in two thousand turns. Okay, we're good. As long as as long as they're not gonna like unconvert soon. Wait, Avar Avaricum is going to convert to me. I never want it though. That's my that's my unit farm. Oh, but it does have a wonder, though. And get another missionary. This is all going very well. A decent amount of coal as well, so we will build a coal power plant soon. I might even be able to buy one in London. Class struggle. <laughs> will. Finish the amphitheatre. Um... Okay. I'm gonna say we probably want an entertainment complex in Coventry. Athens is Jewish now. Does that mean that Greece is Jewish? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven cities, and we've converted four of them. So I guess keep going Sparta, and we'll see if it if it tells us like like oh we've 
converted them, then I guess it's fine. But like, it'll, we'll find out next turn if it's enough or not. Because if it is, then we just turn our sights on Rome, which will piss them off. They'll get mad because they're our allies, technically. But like, what can they do? Oh, here we go. Why are you... Okay. Can buy another guru. Okay, we have converted the Greeks. Okay. So Rome is going to resist, which makes them harder. No, my mission room was destroyed by man at arms. No, that's so annoying. Okay, my clan, you're just going to have to sleep for a bit. Yeah, sure, take my dice. I'm tempted to just leave Avaricum alive. No, they have a wonder. It It's silly for us not to take them. And they can keep blasting these guys, which helps. Can buy another missionary. This is gonna convert Sparta a bit more. But yeah, now kind of we enter the final phase of of this where we're gonna have to be competing against another civilization that actually is going to be trying to fight back. Something we haven't had to deal with for a while. Although who knows if the Romans have like, the infrastructure to actually deal with this, given that they're at war. We're probably not their biggest concern. And also, they haven't managed to, like, convert anything like the letter. Okay, Sea Dog, you're gonna have to go heal. Okay, we are sending- No! 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 Oh, I need to stop doing that. I'm so stupid. I am so genuinely stupid sometimes. Um, okay. So. In two turns, Biberx gets the holy site done. Then we can just stop buying out the buildings we need for it. We also get Arasarum in three turns. Yep, yeah, my missionary's dead. Thank you. We can get... Instantly creates an ironclad. And grants one gold per turn. Incredible. Okay, our alliance with uh, the Romans is done. Which means there's no longer a majority of We don't need an alliance with them now. We'll be friends, but we're not going to sign a light or sign a religious alliance, which is what I think we had before. Okay, they've gone. They're at peace with. Oh, another one. 
Oh, and they're actually attacking me? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to send some troops up to deal with this. Just gonna... I mean, Adversarium won't be a problem for long. But I'll send these guys around to get Sam Abreva. Factory. Um, get the shrine. Get the temple. Start repairing the stuff. Oh, I could have bought missionary. I'll get, actually, I'm going to get the other ones. Um, apostles, just because... Because we're now dealing with the Romans, it's probably worth it. Unless, unless just like wash, like waving them down is like a better strategy. I'm not sure though. Okay, they are just coming for us, but we have way better units, so it's not really an issue. Okay, so, now, what do we need to do? Let's just get steam power. Nothing really boosts religion anymore. Like, no, I don't think there's many, like, game texts that really help with religion, unfortunately. No, we'll send our ironclad round to get bombarded by Sam Abreva. Which does consume one god a turn. Okay, and they go, they've gone down to Rebellion in 72 turns now, because, I don't know, they've got high progressive or something. Maybe we do just take them. Apostle. Now, Apostle, I'm not going to just walk the Apostle... Yeah, maybe we do just take our recon. It might be for the best. Oh, the Greeks have... Is bloody Rome... Trying to, I guess going for Rome first kind of makes sense, because if we wipe that out, then the Romans can't then try and convert the Greeks. No, I want that wonder. I'm not sure which wonder that is, but I want it. That's a really good one. So... Sparta will convert. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sleep that in Sam Rover and it can just get bombarded. Oh, not an archer. Terrifying.
did we breach the walls? I mean, this it feels poetically right to let the ship that has been bombarded by the city for, like, millennia. Well, not millennia, but probably centuries. <laughs> to get this final... This final blow. And we finally get the city. It's ours now. And let's start by repairing that water mill. What even... Okay, so what is the... Okay. So it's giving marsh bonuses. Okay, now everything can just stay in heal. Yeah, research alliance is fine. As long as you stop converting cities, Rome. We did it. We finally won the Hundred Years' War. The Hundred Years' War was won. We... The thing is, like, ironically, none of these cities in Britain were cities that we... that we, like... were cities that we took by force. they just cities that flipped to us. So, like, even though, yes, we did steal all of France from the Gauls and the Spanish, it wasn't like we did it militarily. But yeah, this like several hundred year long war against a city that rebelled from the Gauls is finally over. Samobrovia is just going to flip to us, which is ideal. It's annoying we do have to like, like, just go around the side of, of Kalitz because it's just going to keep rebelling. But we're getting there with religion. Antium is probably going to convert pretty quickly. It's just annoying they've unconverted some of the Greeks. Um, I want an art museum, please. I guess an arena in Geneva, the just classic Genevan arena. Let's just blast that unit. It's really interesting that destroying their, like killing off their units doesn't make the people of this like rebel cities hate you. Okay, so we are gonna have to go through Kalitza's borders anyway, but they don't rebel for five turns, so we're probably good. Drought. Okay, it's a Roman drought. We're fine. Another city falls. I'm gonna set all of our units in a blob over here. For now, we don't need them for anything else. Yeah, Rome will naturally convert to us. Ostia looks like it's going that way as well. Um, it's just annoying that the Romans have... Apelia's fine. Athens is fine. Sparta will convert to us. It will just take time. We can get another Apostle next turn. I'm just getting Apostles just in case that they try and attack us with, like... With their units. Because they could be buying Apostles to attack us. I don't think they will, but they could. Okay. To Ostia, please. Uh, Athens, I'm just gonna... Gonna get you to... Listening post. 
I guess Renaissance walls. I don't really need more units at this point. Um, let's build a builder. Vibrax. The stupor is probably the most useful thing you could build. I'll be honest. But... I can just buy that with faith as well, which I'm going to actually do now. So, why don't you get a theatre square going, please? I know there's no adjacency bonus there, but it's fine. Oh wait, I guess I should blast that down while I can. Romans finished mass production. They're so far behind and they think they can win a science victory. Okay, I guess I should send them down there just to defend. Although it's four turns until that stops being an issue anyway. Oh, well, I'm, no, I'm too close to Summer Brova, Summer Brevia, and we don't want that because that does mean they might not fire on our, on our boat like we want them to. Although they did anyway, that's fine. We can buy an Apostle again. Why can't I buy an Apostle? Oh, it's because we're in the middle of a turn. Okay, one more and Ostia should convert. And then that's half of their empire, and I think it's four we need to fully convert them. Um... We're nearly there. Okay, I need to move that cannon. Any useful ones? None of these are great, but I guess I'll just get them the combat one. At least you could. No, there's no more useful. And Ostia converts. It's so annoying we have to go through Cadiz. I guess I could technically go through the Alps and via Bologna. But that doesn't particularly seem worth it. That seems like it'll take so long. Ooh. None of that is useful to us. We will keep Summer Breaver. That's for Latin. Okay. Um... And you are going to build the water mill quickly. Can buy another missionary, but the missionary isn't what we need. Okay, it is fastest to go up there, because I guess roads exist. Oh, we'll get exploration. No. We'll get nationalism. I guess, like, technically the only thing, like, the most efficient thing we could be doing is just, like, pouring everything we have into religion. Oh, 
over the dot yard. So we'll get that up to six. But Yerevan. Rome is no longer seeking a science victory. Thank you. Oh, we can build canals and railroads. Um, but I guess we need military science first. Do I have two banks? I must have two banks. Do I really have that few commercial zones? I thought I had more commercial zones than this. Have I only got one commercial zone? This is so weird. Yeah, we have just created, like, flat nose Brexit geezers. It's... Like, how does... How are we even going to do Brexit when we own half of Europe? How do we... How do we do Brexit in this mode? It's 26 turns until we... Until we discover... The phrase, if you don't like it, there's the door. Apostle. I guess if we're going to Rome, we should buy them there. For slight speed boost. I wonder actually if, because presumably Valencia is functionally closer to... If we think about this from a cultural point of view, they're, like, I know these are cultural borders, so, like, technically they're all, like, the English culture, but there probably is, like, oh, translator is ridiculously good, but there, there probably is some, ooh, killed, killed the missionary, killed the missionary. Oh, they're trying. The Romans are trying so hard. Yeah, before they can do anything, let's just destroy that missionary. The fact they haven't got a holy site in Rome yet is absurd. But yeah, if you think about it, there's probably, like, some weird cultures within this. Because these, these cities, a lot of the middle cities are cities that were Celtic for a long time. Or Gaulic. And then the cities up here are, like, Polish cities that recently... I forgot I was building some basils. That gives us religious tourism and relic slots. Let's build an archaeologist, Plymouth. Um, we could build the Panama Canal there? That's such a kind of useless place to build it. Just build builders, please. Engineer... Build a zoo. We built a zoo. Oh yeah, that's a theological combat guy, not a not a converty guy. I'll probably move him on. And instead get um instead get the other guy to go down and do some scoping out of Rome. Ooh, a great engineer. We're not building a wonder at the moment, but the next time we are Next time we are we will I don't think we're building a wonder at the moment anyway. We might be
And we'll just build a bunch of... Okay. I'm not building a wonder anymore. I guess I'll send them over to Birmingham. And we'll build a wonder in Birmingham. The Fulgradian... I, I, yeah, we could do that. We could just build canals all the way over and turn it into a... Like, Brexit, we just separate... If we build enough canals, we could just make make ourselves an island yet again. This seems like a genius idea, actually. Okay. So... Statue of Liberty, Taj Mahal. Where are the religious ones? Hermitage. Oh, Hagia Sophia. I'm gonna have to destroy a farm for it. It's worth it. I think it's really normal to build the Hagia Sophia in 1444. That's when it was built in real life. Okay, so we should get the Hagia Sophia super quick. Um, build a... Go down to Alicia, please. Build a... Build monastery. Um, Ostia is fine. Yeah, Aqualia is our next target. Okay. Half of Rome is now Jewish. Kalitz has joined Poland again, but will rebel again. Vilnius is declared war on Christina. Four turns for the Hagia Sophia. That will make our lives so much easier. The drought has ended. Rome converted. No majority of religion in Aquilia. Apostle bought. Yeah, we're the only one with dominant religions. And... Oh, just Vesuvius just erupted and killed everyone except the one person in Rome. Luckily, they were Jewish. So... We are good. Two extra spreads, that's really good. And then we're just gonna send literally all of them to Alexandria. Cause I think l all we need to do is flip Alexandria and we win. Yeah, we've converted Rome now. We just need to flip Greece. We get the Hagia Sophia in two turns, which is probably a... Wait, I have not been spending gold. I should be spending gold. We're trying to... No. I'll help you, but I'm not, I'm not letting you declare, like, holy war on me again. No? Oh, has the stream gone down? No. Thank you. I just have enough friends now that no one can convert me. Uh, we can just send Trajan like a thousand gold like we did last time and that'll work. Avarican. Have a granary. Then a Brevia. Have a watermill. And a granary. Which means I guess I need to tell you to produce something. So produce an industrial zone. Novodunium. 
make walls. Um, London, I guess I can get you a shipyard. And that'll be good for now. Is my internet dying? I mean, like, my PC is kind of chugging for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like I brought anything up. Is this the VPN being on? Is this the issue? Now we're good, I think. If it is, like, truly unwatchable, let me know and I'll try and fix it. But, like, I think we're alright. We need to keep an eye on the Romans because they might try and convert some of their cities back. But I think we've got to that domino point where like things will just convert naturally. Hagia Sophia! Now we just need to invite some Swedes down to do some... What's that do short of power? Oh, they're short of power. Why are you short of power? Uh oh, because you don't have a coal power plant. I see. Uh, next turn for another apostle. Poland has lost Kalitz again. But they're, like, militarily trying to take it back now, which is new. Um, actually improving tiles after playing this game for, like, six hundred and six and a half hundred turns. That's not, a, that's not how you speak, Aoife. Six and a half hundred. London, financial district, please. Also, I do need to check on... Okay, any of the good ones? Okay, we'll walk you past the Matterhorn anyway, so that's chill. And go to Pella, please. Build a farm. Oh. Spain has built Cordoba. Which isn't technically any religion. That's chill then. If the Spanish had managed to like found a new religion or like a new city of their own religion, it would be terrifying to me. But they did not do that. So I think we are good. And we've won the game. We did it, gamers. <laughs> this is how religions are founded. You see a very specific symbol in the stars.
We did it. Save complete. We've been achieved the level of Ivan the Terrible. It's not great, but it's not awful. <laughs> you can see when we... Uh... No, Total Sprision's found isn't what we want. We Is there not one that shows... Like... Yeah, you can see the point when we just completely started to dominate that one. The point when, yeah, towards the end, we were just dominating that. Uh, let's... Wait, how do I look at the, like, map? Is that not a thing I can do? Is there not like a thing where you can view like a time lapse of the map or is that not a thing in Civ 6? Was that a Civ 5 option? Because that's a shame if so. But yeah. We did it. We won. I'm kind of hungry and need to get dinner so probably good timing as well. I just made my glasses. I just put my glasses and made them like unseeable out of. But I'll sort that in a minute. But yeah, that's Civ Six. We'll probably do another play for it at some point. That was super fun. Uh, maybe up the difficulty because I think that was a bit easy at times. Um, I might even download some DLCs. Oh, not DLC, some mods, and maybe we'll do a silly modded playthrough, or like a world playthrough or something like that. We will see. But, for now, that is it for this stream. I'll see you, not tomorrow probably, but Saturday, for another stream. It'll either be Citizen Sleeper, again, trying to finish off Citizen Sleeper, or some more Dark Souls. One of the two, I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like zed enough to cope with Dark Souls. We'll see. I may be not in the mood for it, but <gasps> they've just added Quantum Break to Game Pass from Rem Remedy Entertainment's TV show tie-in game Quantum Break. With a star-studded cast of actors from X-Men, Game of Thrones, The Wire, and more. You need an Xbox Live account to play. That, yeah, that's annoying that it's only Civ 5 that lets you do the little um, time lapse. Because that, that was like a really fun thing at the end of a game. But that was super fun. I mean, I, I want to do more campaigns of this. We might do, I might, before we do another another campaign of Civ 6, I might do another Paradox Mega campaign. We'll see, because they take forever. They take absolutely forever. And sort of the returns that you're getting diminish as you go further on. Like, the first couple of games are pretty fun. And then by the time you get to, like, Victoria, I found... I wonder if Victoria 3 works for a mega campaign yet. Yeah. 